Hello, dear student. This is Namita Mez from Nepali Girls Higher Secondary School. Now, today we'll learn how to find out the median. That out of the, the we have done the three majors of the central tendency. We have done the first one is the mean, that is the average mean, and this is the second important uh, majors of the central tendency, that is the median. Now, median is a positional point based on the number of the items or the score in a series. That in the field of the education, what we do is we measure the quality of an individual through the numerical value. So, those numerical value which we obtain are analyzed especially either in the mean or in the median. Now, uh, to determine the median, for example, if in any class, uh, in any uh, test, if uh, the highest score obtained by any number of the student, like for example, if we take the 40 numbers of student, students, now out of these 40 numbers, if a uh, child get highest number let's say 90 is the highest marks which is obtained by an individual or it may be 30 is the lowest mark obtained by the individual. So over here what we need to see is like uh, last time we have done in a measuring scale, firstly we consider the extension of the numbers. So over here also the extension of the number 30 that is the lowest extension is 29.5 and the, the other extension is 30.5 that means this particular score the area is occupied by this 30 number that means the extension of 30 is the sorry from 29.5 to 30.5 likewise the 90 now 90 the highest extension is 90.5 and its lowest extension is 89.5 so, when we consider the number of the student 40, that means out of this 40 student, the range of the number from 29.5 to the last number is 90.5. This is the extension of the marks obtained by the children in the class. Now with this we need to find out the median. Now median actually means those number which will divide the measuring scale into two equal parts. Kunayu the measuring scale like equally hamili divide gorda. This ko two part bit on this this ko beach ko part sekiho that is the median. Likewise what we can do over here is if suppose 90 or we can say the midpoint that the midpoint the upper limit and the lower limit like uh, add karera then uh, divided by 2 correct na so in the same way median is the middlemost score in any number which divides the scale into two equal part or we can say that a, that median is that number above which and below which lies the equal number equal numerical values like we have done in mean we follow two different method to find out over here also we need to find out the mean of number one is either ungrouped score or the group score. Now for the ungrouped score now we have two formulas. The first one is for the odd number. Now odd number for the odd numbers you need to use this formula over here. Now n is you know that very well that is n is the total number of the score plus 1 divided by 
2. So this is not very confusing. The second one is for the even numbers and for the even numbers your formula is small n1 plus small n2 divided by 2 where small n means capital N divided by 2. Capital N you know that very well that is the total number of score and divided by 2 first you have to find out this this that means the number you will get. Now the second one that is n2 is n plus uh, sorry n upon 2 plus 1. Okay, here we have got certain numbers. Now find out the median of the following. To find out the median just like in the mean first find out your highest number and the lowest number. Now my highest number over here is 15. So highest number I am writing this is 15. Now my lowest number is 2. So lowest number is 2. Now this is a bit different. Now over here what we need to do is you need to arrange all this number in an ascending order. So arrange this number in ascending order first. So first we have to being the lowest number we have 2 then 3 the next number is 4 then we have 7 like 9 after that is 12 and 15 so count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so total we have 7 numbers so I'll apply the formula over here now my formula to find out the mean is capital N plus 1 divided by 2. So our capital N, so how many score we have? You have N equals 2 count that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have total of 7 numbers. So my capital N is 7 plus 1 upon 2. So 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 upon 2. So you can divide or you can cut to 1s are 2, to 4s are 8. So 4 means that item that means over here first, second, third and fourth. That means my median, my answer is 7. So you can write that 7 is my median. So over here only you can find out the difference. That means 7 is my middlemost score and above 7 we have 3 numbers. Likewise below 7 also we have 3 numbers. So this is the way you find out the median of the odd numbers. Okay. Now to find out the mean for the even numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. Now there is different formula we can apply to find out the median that is n1 plus n2 divided by 2. So likewise we have done in the odd numbers the first step in the odd numbers that is to find out the highest and the lowest number. So my highest number over here is 19 and 2 is the lowest number. So what I do is I write my highest number or the score is 19 and my lowest number or the score is 2. Now what you do just like in the first we have done in the odd numbers you arrange all these numbers in an ascending order. So we will start with the 2 first is 2 then we have 3 likewise 4 then 7 then we have 9 then 12, 15 and 19 and don't forget to count otherwise you will miss some numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8. So we have 8 numbers. Now first I'll find out n1. So as I told you, your n1 equals to n divided by 2. So my n is 8, that means I've counted this number and my capital N, that means the total score is 8. So what I do over here, I'll write 8 divided by 2. So likewise, 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8. So this means that fourth item in this series is my answer. So first, second, third and fourth. So 7 is my answer over here. That means my N1 is 7. Now find out N2 because you need N2 also. Now N2 equals to capital N divided by 2 plus 1. So capital N is my 8 divided by 2 plus 1. So find out the LCM that is 2, 8 plus that means 2, 1's are 2, so write 2 and the next is 10 upon 2. So you can cut 10, one, uh, 2, 1's are 2, 2, 5's are 10. That means over here in N2 my fifth item is my answer. So first, second, third, fourth and fifth. That means 9 is my answer. So what I do is my fifth item is 9. Now I have, we got the answer N1 is 7, N2 is 9. So I'll apply over here my N1 is 7 plus N2 is 9 divided by 2. So 7 plus 9 is 16 divided by 2. Now cut this, 2 ones are 2, 2 eights are 16. So my final answer is 8. So the median over here, 8 is my median below and above which lies the equal number like 1, 2, 3, 4. That means 4 number above the median and below the median also 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers below the median. So this is the way to find out the median. It may be little confusing. That means the second formula to find out the median through the even number is little bit confusing but once you have this concept clear then it is very easy for you all. Now to find out the median of the ungrouped data is very easy but to find out the median of the group data is little bit complex and uh, complex one. So over here now what we know uh, we need to follow the two formulas likewise we have done the two formulas. The first one is your median equals to LL is your lower limit plus I is your I into N upon 2 minus F B and wholly divided by F M. So now L L means the lower limit, I is the class interval, N means the total number of the score and F B means the sum of all the frequency below the main frequency. Okay. Now F M means the main frequency. Likewise, we have the second formula that is U L minus I divided by whole divided by F M N upon 2 minus F A. Now for this one, we have what we need is U L is my upper limit. F A is the sum of all the frequencies above the main frequency. Now N you know that is the total number of the score divided by 2 and F M is the main frequency. Now let's start with the finding out the mean through 
any one method. To find out the median, you will be provided with certain class or the x, the scores and the frequencies. Now what you need is, we will apply the first formula that is median, that is the median equals to LL plus I into wholly divided by FM N upon 2 minus F B. We will follow this formula, okay. Now, for to find out the median, the first step is find out the highest frequency. So, in this frequencies, my 10 is the highest frequency. So, what you do, you underline the class with the highest frequency. So, I can say that this 10 is my FM. That means this is my main frequency. And those number which is over here, that means above the frequency, this is my FA. As I as we have done over here, that is FA is the sum of all the frequencies above the main frequency. This is my FA and this will be my FB. That is the sum of all the frequency below the main frequency. So, add these numbers. So, 3 and 2, 5, 5, 10 and 9 is 19. So, my FA is 19. Now, I'll find out FB. My FB is 5 and 4 is 9. 9 and 2 is 11. Okay. Now, no any other columns required, especially to find out the median. You need only the scores and the frequency. Find out the main frequency and sum of all the frequency above the main frequencies and those number or those frequencies which lie below the main frequency. So, let us start with this formula. Now, my LL. Now, what you require is your LL. Now, we have taken the highest frequency and we need to go to the LL. But 28 is my lower limit. But over here, we need to find out the actual lower limit. So, actual lower limit, as I told you, to subtract 0.5 from this one to make it a continuous series. So, continuous series, 0.5 minus garsavane. Over here, my actual lower limit will be 27.5. I hope you remember 27.5 is my lower limit. So, now 27.5 oh, plus what is my i? What is the class interval? That is from 18, 19, oh, sorry, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, my class interval or the gap between the two classes is 5 into capital N is my 40 minus what is my FB? FB is 11. It has to be divided by 2 and all this number spatially has to be divided by FM. My FM is 10. Okay. What we do? The next thing is 27 will write as it is plus 5 into 10 is my FM. I will write this as it is. Now, I will find out the LCM. So, 2. 40 will remain as it is since 11 has 1. So, subtract 1. That means 1 into 2 is and 2 into 11 is 20. Next, we will write 27.5 plus 5 into wholly divided by 10. Now, subtract this 2, you will get 18 divided by 2. Now, next is 27.5 plus 
five into now we'll make it simple. So what I do? I write eighteen by two into ten means ten upon one. So this is the mark of division. When you multiply it, one will go up and ten will come down. Okay. So two fives are ten. Two nines are eighteen. Okay. So next is twenty seven point five plus five into nine one is nine and five twos are ten. Okay. I'll put this into bracket. Now next thing what we do 27.5 plus 5 now you divide 9 by 10 so you'll get 0.9 as your answer now the next step is 27.5 plus 9 into 5 is 40 5 and after the decimal point we have one numbers that means 5 decimal point so what you do you add this to 27.5 plus 4.5 so 27.5 plus 4.5 5 5 10 0 1 left 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 1 left, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, after the decimal point, 0 has no value. So, I'll write 32 as my answer. So, the answer which I get after doing all this is 32. So, 32 is the median of this score. Now we have done this. Now children, I'll leave up to you. Especially the second formula which we have, it totally depends on you. You try it at home. If you get the same answer, that means you are correct. If you not get the same answer, you do practice it regularly until you get the number. So with this, we are going to conclude that whatever we have done today is we have done to find out the mean in the ungroup data. We follow the two method which is more easier than this method and to we have done this median of the group data too which is a little bit complex but if you give proper attention and if you practice at home it will be much easier for you all.